I'm Anil Kumar and Maria, as requested by you, I'm sharing with you a test paper on Unit 6 Trigonometric Functions. This is a sample test paper which is very balanced and I think if you go through it properly, you should be doing well in your own test on trigonometric functions. And this test paper should help you to review the concepts. Following this test paper, I have a number of questions in this particular playlist which you should go through and understand the concept. So you can pause the video, copy some of these questions. This is 2014, last year's test paper. So here are a few more questions. So you can copy the questions up to three now and then move on. There are six questions on this page. Let's see the other three, which are four, five, and six. Some of the solutions I have done in this set of videos I'll provide you with the link which will help you to understand how the student got all these answers right. Now let's move on to the next page which is starting with uh, a modeling question which is a very interesting question and I do have a full solution for question number seven. I'll provide a link with this for this question also. Then copy question number eight and nine Okay, and question number 10 is the last question on this page. Here it is. Let's move to the next page, which is, it's a long paper. Here is, you need to find uh, a quadratic equation from the given data. So we have a couple of similar questions in the videos, which you should also look into. And here we do have a perfect solution, kind of. The student lost just a couple of marks. The solution is kind of like this, right? So the phase shift is wrong, which you should correctly write down and then I can check with you. Okay, now next page is a few more questions. Uh, so that's the communication part and then move on to average rate of change and instantaneous rate of change, right? And then we have two more Communication questions, question number 14 and 15. So you can copy these questions. And then we have the last page, I think, hopefully. It's still not the last page. It's a pretty long paper. So a transformation to sketch the graph of the function, which is cosecant x and cosecant x plus 1. For sketching the graph of cosecant x, first you should sketch the graph of sine x, as done here right and then you should actually reflect do the reciprocal of sine x once you do reciprocal of sine x then translate one unit up in that case you'll get the right answer right so that is how you're going to get the graph remember the period for cosecant x will be 2 pi not pi just as for sine x we have 2 pi so we have the last page here now coming up with question number 18 this is on transformation and the student has exactly done the way it should be done, right? So first step is, is to understand the transformation, write how the points get translated. You see this is how the x points will get translated, divided by 2 and then add pi by 4. So this has been a simplified form, right? And the y points will be multiplied by 3 and added 1. So start with the key points and for sine of x the key points are 0, 0, pi by 2, 1, pi 0, 3 pi by 2, minus 1, 2 pi 0, 5 pi by 2, 1 as written by the student. And you do your math and get those transformed points. Once you get these points then you can sketch the graph neatly as shown here, right? So that is how you could actually perfectly answer your test paper. Now there is one type of question missing in this test paper. So that is my following question in the playlist. Now you can go through that and then after that I have number of uh, practice test questions for you starting with multiple choice questions. I hope these questions will prepare you well for the test. Thank you and all the best.